Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed night. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead and press tag and share. And my title tonight is, God says, this is the said the Lord, persecution is coming. They hate Jesus Christ's name. They hate the Bible. They hate the word of God. Soon, America, the churches will be attacked for preaching and teaching about God and Jesus Christ. Did you hear what I said? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You all are sitting up there still teaching about prosperity and all of this one platforms. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You're still trying to build churches and not the people. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God said, you're not building his people. You're not telling them the truth. Come on, somebody. ISIS is already here. Y'all need to understand that, okay? These people are, have already infiltrated the whole United States. All they're waiting is for a thumb up. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And the church is still not being the church because, number one, you're not teaching people that persecution is coming in the worst way. It happened abroad first, but it's coming here. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. What will you do when somebody come up to you and tell you renounce the name of Jesus Christ? Throw away your Bible. Renounce being a Christian. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there worrying about the new world order come on somebody i mean y'all worrying about all the other stuff notice i stopped talking about that i've already done my, my my talking about that five six years ago not others have taken it up okay that's good y'all talking about that but let me tell you what god have given me to mandate god said prepare them deanna prepare their spirit their mind their body and their soul for death oh come on somebody i know it's not easy i know it looks like a doom and gloom but you gotta understand what i'm saying the day is coming and it's coming soon what you going to do when they come for you? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because all of us, we could talk a good game. But when you really serve Jesus Christ, are you ready to take his place? Come on, somebody, because all we've done, I think you don't understand what we've done. All we've done is going back in time. These are the literally the days of Jesus Christ. The only thing is we got technology. They don't like God. They don't like Jesus. And the Bible says they hated him first. So that's why they don't like us true Christians. Notice what I say, true Christians. Come on, somebody. The fake ones, they're all over. They don't mind their word getting out. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't play with me tonight because you know what I'm saying is true. They don't mind because guess what? Their mind is on prosperity. And they took it. They, I mean, they teach you some real good stuff. But they're not teaching the stuff to build you up for what's coming. That's the difference. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'll tell you right now you better get in this word you better love this word you better hold your bible while you can because that's one of the first things they're going to do they're going to take away the word of god because they think to take away the word of god they're going to take it away from our minds our souls and our bodies but god says nay never come on somebody hallelujah in the name of jesus but i'm serious i'm i've always had dreams i've always had visions of people just coming in i'm gonna say it again i'm, I'm gonna keep re you ready reiterating it Three, four o'clock in the morning, martial law. Now, I don't know when it's going to happen. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. They're going to take your guns, whether you like it or not. That gun law going to drop. When that gun law drop, martial law going to be right behind it, maybe even the same time. I'm not sure about that part. I just know what's coming. I want you to be so prepared. How do you be a prepared apostle? Fall in love with God. Start knowing God's voice. Start learning God's voice because you're going to need it. You're going to need to know what God is saying. We're not going to have social media. You're not going to have your iPhones and all your phones. Hey, girl, they coming. Oh, hey, they coming. All that right. No, 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 no. You're going to have to have the spirit of wisdom and discernment like never before. Do you understand what I'm saying? And in this season, they're sending plants. What is plants? These are people that pretend to be Christians. Some of you need to get Pure Flex. What is Pure Flex? That, I've told y'all, that's like Netflix. And it talks about the end times. Y'all need to look at some of the movies. Y'all need to look at, um, what of it, Definition. Y'all need to look at martial law. They have a lot of movies on there. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm serious. But now, I don't know if you're ready for that because some of you are still wanting to go to work, buy homes, buy cars, and just, you know, be a star. Hallelujah. Honey, we're getting ready to go home. And, and a lot of people don't preach this. A lot of people don't teach this because guess what? They don't hear it. And I'm not saying everybody's not, don't love God. You can love God all day long. But are you in tune with the spirit of God? Are you hearing what God is saying? Don't you understand God loves us so much? That he'll send people like me and others to warn you and say, get right, get right, get right. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Get close to me. The times are coming. The Bible even says that there's a time where God will withdraw his spirit. Are you understanding what that means? What if you don't hear God? Will you still be able to stand up for God even when you don't hear God or see God? Mm, that's a hard one, huh? 
So I pray you understand what I've just said. I know I went through it, but go back and, and listen again. It's coming. Um, did y'all see what I put on Facebook? You know they're not letting me get to a lot of people these days. I don't. They they stopping all my stuff on Facebook. I mean, you have to literally go to my page. Some people are not seeing me in the feed. I mean, it's crazy. Y'all y'all know what they doing. Don't act like y'all don't know. But I put on my page about Google is now siding uh, or actually helping the military with facial identification and recognition. Why are they doing all that? It's the same way why they made Facebook. That man did not make no Facebook in no little college room. This was FBI all the way. As a matter of fact, they admitted it. And they said, thank you for giving us all the information. Because we did. We was taking pictures, taking selfies, doing everything. Letting them know our places, our family, our friends. We gave them everything. Oh, come on, somebody. I know y'all don't like this kind of talk because it, it isn't glorified. But it's the truth. So I pray you understand. I pray you get close to your God. And if you're playing, if you're playing in church, just stop playing. Just ask God, say, I repent, God, and I want to get close to you. I don't know how to do it, but God, show me how to do it. God will show you how to get close to him. Come on, somebody, I'll leave you. But you have to make a commitment. You have to You have to surrender. You have to be real with God. You're real with your partners. You're real with other people. Be real with God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Just turn it like a T.I. is. All right, God bless you guys. Real life soldiers, for this is who you are. God bless.